right guys, how's it going? So I'm getting ready to plant my Echeveria Ruby Slipper. It looks like this. Now I was going to plant it with my um, string of dolphins and uh, my string of pearls, but I found out this guy likes light. So I can't put him with them. They, he prefers full sun. So if I put it, him with those there, he's not gonna get the full sun because I do keep them now in pretty much uh, bright sun, partial shade, um, bright shade. And they've been growing really well. I'll go to show you. You'll actually get to see those because I am going to be putting in some lower light ones in with them because they have a really big pot. I don't think they're going to fill it. I kind of want to, you know, put some more things in it. So we're going to plant our ruby slipper. And I'm going to plant him in a more shallow one today. It's a little bit wider. And I'm going to plant him in one of these because he's going to supposed to spread. So let's find out. So first things first, I'm going to put some dirt in the bottom and do my treatment. So put a little dirt in the bottom here. Shake it out nice and even, and then go ahead, my indoor plant food. Just a quick one, two squirts. And mix it up. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. <laughs> mix them up like so, there you go. And give me a little bit of a bottom all right and then put just a little bit more dirt in here and get him buried now his root system is really short right now and shallow so I am going to put a little bit of dirt between the bottom and there just because it's a more shallow bowl and yeah and with my more shallow bowl i'm going to actually be cute and put some river rocks at the top when i finally get them in here so let's put them in here now he's got a nice little curved root system here so i'm just going to lay his butt in here and then start adding soil around that little curve. <laughs> Trying to hold that one gently so I don't rip it off accidentally. There we go. Okay. All right, let's bring them forward. Get some more piece in the back here. And his roots were pretty dry too. So I may come in a little bit later tonight and add a little sprinkling of water before they do. I'm trying different things when it comes to the bare root ones because again, I have such bad luck planting anything bare root. And I don't know if it's because they come in a little bit drier because they're bare root or what? Or if I'm just not taking care of the root system like I should, I don't know. All right, it looks like he's in there. Okay, now I got some river rocks. I got, you know, a whole thing of them from Lowe's. and handful and spread them around. There you go. Get a little decoration. Mm -hmm. Alright, there we go. Now mix 
make sure that when you do add some rocks that you do make sure that you don't like add too many rocks that when you put water in it it just blocks the water from going down you know that's why i just kind of do a quick little sprinkling of them real quick especially when it's brand new all righty and that's my uh echeveria ruby slipper <laughs>